guys, what I will be cooking today is tuna sisig. So I will share to you my recipe for this one. This is very simple, guys. So all you need is a can of tuna, okay? Any tuna in can, any brand, all right? So mine is already drained. Two cans to. I use two cans, okay? Drained na siya. Wala siyang oil or anything or water. Next ingredient is we have mayo. Ayan. And then we also have calamansi juice. This one. So why in this container? Because frozen siya guys. Uh, since we have a calamansi tree in our garden ayan, nagpipick na kami ng mga ripe na calamansi and then um, yung juice niya um, na stock na namin siya sa freezer para pang luto. Ayan. And then we also have here oyster sauce there. We have red bell peppers. This one. We also have ceiling haba. This one. Okay. And then, nakaslice siya diagonally. And then we have red onions here. Minced. We also have some garlic, about three cloves, minced. This one is one whole onion. And then we have uh, siling labuyo, two pieces ng siling labuyo lang, kasi may chili naman na later. So there, guys. And then you just need ground uh, pepper, uh, ground black pepper, and salt to taste. Okay? So let's start. Okay, so let's start by. Ayan. Putting about two to three tablespoons of oil there sa ating pan. And let's start by placing our garlic, minced garlic, there. Okay. So, yan. Pwede naman natin siya i-brown ng konti. And like sa mga previews na niluluto ko, like pasta, ganyan, hindi ko siya binabrown. But this time, you can do it since um, you're cooking this time, it's sisig. So, pwede naman siya i-brown. Okay. Next is my seeding labuyo. There. About two chili to. Yan. Sinama ko yung seed. So, bakang to. Or this will be really spicy since meron pa akong seeding haba. Okay. So, next natin is my bell pepper. Okay. So, mix lang natin to all together. Okay. Okay, may ibig niyo naman siya. Next is sizzle. Okay. And then, we'll put our drained tuna. Okay. okay. There. So, yan ang ating drained tuna. Kaya tayo naglagay pa ng konting oil kasi din rain ko siya from yung oil niya dun sa can. Hindi ko yan i-include. And then right after that, okay, we'll add on our red onions. Ayan. Very simple guys, ba Lahat ng na-prepare ko na ingredients, i-add lang natin, mix lang natin all together. Ayan. And then later on, ta-transfer natin siya sa ating seasoning plate. Ayan, para ma-feel talaga natin. Maganda sana if meron pang chicharon eh, kaso we don't have one. So, let me check kung meron kaming crackers, baka pwede ko lagyan ng ganun. Um, para lang meron konting crunch, okay? But, it's okay din naman kung ganito lang. Ayan, gusto lang namin mangyari dito para ma-dry yung ating tuna, Okay? Ayan. So, there guys. Ayan. I don't know. This is non-stick pan. But then, hindi ko alam bakit yan. Pero, but this is yung gusto natin ma-achieve yung medyo uh, nag-brown yung tuna and medyo flaky na siya. Yung susunugin natin ng konti yung edges niya. Ayan. Gusto ko yung parang nag-flaky siya. Alright. And then, I also wanna tell you guys, um, kanina, I said na I only used two cans of tuna. But then, I added one more. So, this is a total of three cans. Ayan. Kasi parang konti pa din niya. Ayan. So, ayan since flaky na siya. And also, what I will add dun sa ingredients na pinakita ko kanina is this one. Ayan. Magic Flakes, okay, na onion chives flavored. Kasi, guys, uh, wala akong chicharon, ba? And I mentioned na magtatry ako maghanap ng something na mayroong crunch. So, what I did, guys, dinurag ko lang to using my fingers. Ayan, durag-durag na siya. So, i-add lang natin ito sa ating tuna para may konting crunch naman siya. 
So, ayan. Add natin siya. So, this is a little experiment, guys. But then, I can assure you na it will really taste good. Kasi nasa pagtitimpla pa rin naman natin yan. Like I mentioned before sa mga previous videos ko. Ayan. So, let's add. Maliit yata yung pagkakat ko eh. Ayan. Add natin siya. Parang extender na din. See? Parang dumami pa yung ating tuna. No need to add oil kasi maglalagay pa rin naman tayo ng oil later on sa ating um, seasoning plate. Ayan. So, magiging oil din naman na siya. So, ayan na muna. Kaya nga non-stick dapat ba din? Ayan, may nasusunog siya na part sa ilalim na dumikit. Na I don't know why. Ayan. Okay. Pero ito lang naman yung need ko, guys. This one. Ayan. Add na natin siya. And then, I'm also gonna put now our ayan, seeding haba. Ayan. Lutuin natin. And then, some more red bell pepper. So, nag-add din ako ng isa pang ganito na red bell peppers. Kasi parang hindi na nakita yung kanina. Okay. Gusto ko yung parang makulay pa din siya. Ayan. There. And then, uh, about, ayan, a dash ng ground black pepper. Okay. And then, I'm gonna add salt. Uh, remember guys, meron akong ginagamit na Himalayan salt na kinakrush ko pa siya. So, what I did, nagcrush na ako ng madami and nagrepurpose ako ng Nilagay ko sa ganitong bottle ng Tostitos. Okay, nag-repurpose ako. So, there. Um, ayan siya, crushed na. So, mag-add lang tayo ng konti. Konti lang salt kasi uh, later on, meron pa akong oyster. Ayan. And what I will add now is yung ating calamansi juice. Ayan. Can you hear that? Ayan, nagsizizzle. Guys, so, haluin lang natin siya. Ang bango niya. Super. Okay? Okay, so, now we'll add our oyster sauce. Okay? This is about 2 to 3 tablespoons. Like I said, tansya-tansya lang ginagawa ko. There. Pwede naman kasi mag-add. Huwag lang yung sobra agad kasi mahirap tayo magbawas. So, okay lang yung kulang kasi pwede mag-add anytime. Yan. Yung mayonnaise, later na yan. Pag nandun na siya sa zizzling plate, then tsaka add yung mayonnaise natin there. Ganda na ng color. Sobrang aromatic. Ang bango kasi yung chili, yung garlic, and then yung tuna na nasunog ng konti. Alam niya yun yung parang sa adobo flakes. Ganun, yung flaky siya. Na brownish yung edges. Yan, crunchy. Yan yung gusto nating ma-achieve. Tapos, Ayan, yung may anghang siya and saltiness, sarap. So, excited na naman kami sa aming dish. Napaka-simple nito guys, Ay, um, it's another tuna hack or another delata hack. Kasi nga parang sa times like this, sa quarantine, diba? So, you have to be creative sa mga ating lulutuin para mag-enjoy naman yung buong family. And hindi natin maisip na may crisis kahit pa paano pang good vibes, diba? Pag masarap yung hinahain natin na food, nakakatanggal ng problems there. So, I think this is already done. So, let's now switch. Let's now use our seasoning plate. So, pe-prepare ko lang. So, now I'm heating our seasoning plate. Ayan. Uh, we nash kasi namin. Medyo nagkaroon na siya ng discoloration. But don't worry, it's clean, guys. I can guarantee that. I can guarantee you that. So, ayan. So, hinihit lang namin siya. And then, pag mainit na talaga siya, then, that's the time na lalagay. Ito, transfer na natin itong ating tuna sisig. Okay. With... So, ayan. Naglagay na tayo ng oil. I-heat na lang natin dun sa ating um, sizzling pan or plate. There. So, ayan. Parang nakalat ko na lang yung oil niya. Place na natin ang ating Okay Ayan Sigil na siya Okay So, 
this dish is good for about 6 to 8 people siguro. 3 cans lang po na. Madami naman siya guys eh. Siksik to. Not the usual serving pa kumakain tayo sa mga resto. Okay? Na parang kinakalat lang nila sa sides para dumami. This one is fully packed. Ayan o. Oh. punong puno siya ng laman. Okay. Ito pa. Ayan yung 3 cans. So, walang bitin dyan. Maraming pa akong nasa spoon ko. So, Ayan. So, I just need to get a spoon. Okay. Okay. Now, ayan siya, guys. Sige, i-focus natin pa. Ayan. Ayan. Can you hear that? Nagsizizzle na siya. There. So, I will add now our mayonnaise. Ayan. Siguro po ako na. Ayan. One tablespoon na sobrang puno. Kasi this is about two tablespoons. So, check muna natin if carry na to. Then, tsaka na lang mag-add ulit later on. Pag kulang. Ayan. Haluin muna natin. Okay. So, ayan. Ang yummy. Smell some mayo. There. Then, you can add parang your own uh, seasoning, kung ano man ang clip nyo i-add, like hot sauce, toyo, or an, ano, more calamansi pa. Depende sa preference nyo, taste preference nyo. There. But this one is perfectly okay na. Ayan. May mayo. Meron siyang oyster. Ayan. Ang perfect na nung lasa niya for me. You can add egg pala. Ayan. Yung nakalimutan ko. But this time, hindi na ako mag- Add. Okay na, sobra yung taste nito for me. Ayan. Spoon na yung ginamit natin kasi para hindi matapon. Mayroon malaki yung spoon ko kanina. There you go guys. So this one is ready to serve na. Okay. Okay, that one's ready to serve. There. Bon appetit guys. That's my tuna CC. Okay. Okay, so na transfer na natin. So here's uh, my presentation. And guys, na transfer ko na sa ating seasoning plate. There. I hope you like my recipe of uh, this simple quarantine. <laughs> Tuna, sisig, ayan. So, whatever is in our pantry, yan lang din yung nagamit ko. Ayan. Kasi mga 3 weeks na kaming hindi nag-grocery ulit. There. So, if you enjoyed this recipe, my video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, guys. And, um, like our videos. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. Let's have dinner.